allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Trey, Trey Sands. If you want to know what two samples I have in this little Sephora bag and what fragrance I picked up while I was out doing some fragrance hunting, meet me on the other side of this intro and I'll tell you what's in the bag and what fragrance I added. See you in just one second. So right there. Boom. You never know. You never know. That's the point. What's going on, everybody? It is your boy, Trey Sense. And listen, got a little bit of a video, a little bit of a discussion. You know how we do it here on the channel. What do I have for you? Two samples that I picked up from Sephora and one full presentation. Now, my presentation didn't come from Sephora. Let's get my full presentation, my full bottle didn't come from Sephora because it wasn't a full presentation. So let me correct that. But before I even get into this video, you already know, listen, we gotta do a little bit of flexing, a little bit of heavy lifting. Need something from you. I need you to like this video. I need you to share this video. And if you've come by here multiple, multiple times, if this is your 1300th time coming by the channel, do your boy a favor if I've earned it. Give me a sub, and after you sub, I can't bail. So every time I come to bring you some shenanigans and tomfoolery with fragrances, you'll be one of the first to know. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's get into it. Uh, it's a little town, well, it's not a little town. It's a decent sized town, about an hour and a half away from me, maybe two hours away from me in Tennessee, called Jackson, Jackson, Tennessee. A um, Couple of colleges, minor league baseball team. So it's a nice little town. They happen to have a Sephora. Well, they have a JC Penney's, and inside the JC Penney's was a Sephora. I told you guys I was gonna go do some fragrance hunting and I might make a big purchase. Well, went to do that. When I got there, they just didn't have um, a lot of the things that I was looking for. They didn't. But I'm gonna give Sephora its props. Did you see this little bag? Okay. On the front of the bag, they've got three lines A, B, and C. Okay. And on the samples that they gave me, they stuck the letters A and the letters B, which made it very, very easy to keep up on which is which. So big ups to the Sephora in Jackson, Tennessee. Come across this video. Go check them out. They're going to do you well in there if you're looking for one of maybe 15 fragrances in the men's section because that's all they had. Nothing <clears throat> that I hadn't smelled. And, well, I'll get to it. The first one that I got from Sephora, which is labeled A. You see that cute little sticker on there? I thought, and it's a nice size little sample, man. That is a good size little sample. That is plenty for me to sample and for me to pass on to somebody else and let them sample it. And it is labeled one million elixir. And that's exactly what it is. One million elixir. So I've already smelled this, but let me spray it on again to give you a second impressions of it and tell you what I think about it and do I think it's worth picking up. Now, when I first spray this, I'll tell you this, I'll, I'll say this, it's a good quality scent. It's a good quality scent. Not a lot of alcohol, doesn't smell extremely cheap, it smells pretty good. Is this one I would purchase? I'm still on the fence. I'm still on the fence. I, before I left the store, I thought, well, I'm getting a sample, but there's a tester. So I'm going to spray myself with it. So I sprayed it on my hand then. Do I like the fragrance? I do. I do. Um, it reminds me of a couple of things. It reminds me of that new Givenchy that just came out. What is it, Gentleman Parfum? Is that what it is? Oh. It reminds me a little bit of that and the Guamandi aspect of it. Is it a sexy fragrance? I think so. Is it a well-made, well-blended fragrance? Good job, one million. 
Is it a modern uh, smelling fragrance? Yes. Is it worth a hundred plus dollars? That's where that's where it gets tricky. I think for a hundred dollars or for hundred and ten, I think is exa is actually what the the three point four ounce was running. <sighs> that's steep. That's steep. I pick up on two different fragrances from one million in this. I pick up on a hint of Privé mixed with a hint of Parfum. So if you've got uh, one million Privé and one million Parfum, try layering. You may get close to the same scent. I know a lot, I've watched uh, some other reviewers, some big name reviewers, and they didn't like one million Parfum. I like it, I respect it for what it is. You know what I mean? I have it. And I think it's a good fragrance. And this one has a lot of similarities to One Million Parfum. Um, that grape, the grape soda or sweet vibe that runs through One Million Parfum. You find that in here. I wish I could think of that. Um, Givenchy. It's the newest Givenchy that just came out, so I know you know what I'm talking about. I may uh, look it up and put a picture somewhere up in here. Uh, we'll put a picture. Um, I got to stick to my original thoughts on it. it. It's a great smelling fragrance to me, to my nose, to my snout. It leans gourmandy, and I just feel like, A, it's not really the time of year to wear a gourmandy type of fragrance. I mean, you could wear it at night. If you had a little audition or something you was going on, you know what I mean? If you had a little situation you were going to check out. You know, you could do that. You know, put on some shoes. It's a very dressy type of fragrance. Definitely more dressy than uh, One Million. But it just, it, it to me, again, this is just my old snout, my thought, my opinion, my channel. Um, if you have perfume, if you have Lucky, and you have Privé, I just don't see this being a must, must have. Again, because I'm picking up on nuances of all of them. I pick up on a little bit of Parfum in the opening. As the mid and the dry, as, as the mid is coming through, I pick up on a little bit of Privé. So what's the point? What's the point? Now, with that being said, if I saw this, if I saw somebody was selling a partial bottle of this for 30, 40 bucks, would I be interested? Absolutely. Absolutely. If somebody was selling, uh, if somebody had a 50 mil of it with 25 mils left and they said, give me $25 for it, would I jump on it? Absolutely. For more than one reason. The aesthetics of it being in my collection with the rest of the one millions that I have. And it's not a bad scent. It's not a bad scent. It does smell good. But for me, it's always that price versus uh, performance and, and that aspect of things and I just at least not for 100 to 110 dollars and I want to say the 50 mil was maybe 80 now if you can catch it on one of these websites or gray market areas or whatever and you can catch it at a good price go for it or if you know somebody that bought a bottle and they just don't like it and they're like give me 50 dollars for it grab it and go but for $80, I just don't think 1 million elixir is a good purchase. I think there are many other gourmands that you can get that smell good and and that you should roll with. In fact, um, you know, I, I don't can't think of any off the top of my head, but check it out some of the indie houses as an independent and some of the Middle Eastern houses and some of the clone houses and just, you know, reach out to some of them and say, hey, do you have anything that's a little bit gourmandy? Um, I watched some YouTube reviews on gourmandy type of fragrances. Now, I, again, it's a good smelling fragrance. I will now, I'll give the scent profile an A because I like Privé. It's one of my favorites. I like Lecay. Look at me rap. Privé, Lecay. And I like um, Parfum. But I didn't pay a hundred dollars for either one of them, so you be the judge. And that's what this fragrance reminds me of. It remind it's like they took 
all the one millions and put them together with the exception of the original one million and Cologne. Lucky, Privé, and Parfum is what I get. Nice scent, nice scent profile, well made, gentlemanly fragrance, soft projecting. Smells really expensive, but I just don't, I don't think the scent profile is worth 100 bucks or 110 bucks. So when it comes out at discounters in a couple of years, I will be one of the first people to get it. But for now, I think I'm gonna hold tight. This next one, y'all did not see that. Y'all didn't see Trey drop the cap. I'm about to see Trey do a lot of things. This next one is from the house of Invictus. And it is Invictus Legend. Now, I've already smelled this one also. And Invictus, I have three Invictuses. I have Aqua, I have Intense, and I have the OG Invictus. Give myself one spray of that. And let's go to the nose. I will say right off the bat, this is a good time of year to be wearing this one. So if you smell, if you go and you sample one million um, elixir, I don't think this is the right time to buy it. Even if you like it, I, I suggest you wait. If you like one million, I'm sorry, Paco Rabanne's Invictus Legend, this is the time of the year to buy it. What I get is a semi-bright, very clean citrus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I get. Mm -hmm. That's what my old Studebaker picks up on, my old snout. I put them nostrils on them hands, see them? Get them, it's just... A little bit minty. Now, the thing about this fragrance, I, I'll say it, it smells good. It smells good, but a lot of colognes smell good. It's the prices of these 100 mils and 50 mils. What would I be willing to pay for this fragrance? Again, it's one if I found a partial, I'll pick it up. You pick up on a lot of the original Invictus DNA with some citrus and some mint. That's what I get. Is it worth 50, 60 bucks for 100 mil? Absolutely, absolutely. And with it being the right time of the year to purchase this fragrance, I think you'd be fine if you bought this one. Again, the key is to get the most juice for the best price. Or if you get a smaller bottle, as long as you get it at a good price. Um, I paid 50 bucks for my Invictus Intense and for my Aqua and my Invictus. I got them all for around in between the 40 and $45 dollar mark. I think one of them was 49 for 50 mils, and I don't think that was bad. I've had them a few years. They were a lot newer when I got them, so um, I don't think that was a bad price for them. Would I be willing to pay 50 for this? At this stage in my career, I don't know. I don't know, and the reason I say that is because there's a lot of fragrances I have that remind me of this. One that comes to mind is Mr. Burberry Indigo. Now it's not the same, but it's got that fresh citrusy mint. Um, trying to gather my thoughts. Azaro's Chrome Aqua. I think that's it, Azaro's Chrome Aqua. Gives me the same vibe. It gives me the same vibe. Are they identical? No, that's not what I'm saying. But they're not identical in price either. You could probably get 100 mil of that chrome aqua for 30 35 bucks where 100 mil of this is gonna cost you 70 75 bucks you do the math um and they're gonna take you to the same place they're gonna give you that that crisp clean i had an elma fudd moment there boy i was about to go all in a whole different direction though um that crisp clean citrusy slash you know slightly minty i mean i'm not knocking the scent profile not knocking the scent profile. I'm just think, I'm just saying that be careful because it is a good smelling fragrance, but don't overpay for it. Try to find it. Try to find a used bottle. Um, 
you know, try to find a partial bottle or something like that, or maybe go to Sephora and get you a sample of it so you can wear it and get used to it. Because again, this is a really good size sample. So, you know, that's two, maybe three good wearings. But anyway, I like the scent profile. <clears throat> in my collection, I just have too many different fragrances that it smells like to add it. And that, that's hard for me because as you know, I like fragrances and I love bottles and I love to look at them. And, you know, it would be great to have, but unless I get it at a racehorse of a price, I'm just not, I'm not gonna get it. I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it now. And it smells good, but it just reminds me of uh, Chrome Aqua. And again, I say, I say this, so take this with a spoon for the sugar. They're not exact. But they give you the same vibe that R. Kelly. Bye. Now, after I left there disappointed, oh ho hum. Hit up a TJ Maxx. And um, the definition of bombed out and depleted. I mean, they had very few colognes that they even had to put in a security case. That tells you how bad it was. Most of them were in a box with the price tag clapped on the butt, just sitting on the shelf. So I was just like, okay. And before I got disappointed, I'm just like, well, I've learned to look around in cracks and crevices and whatever. So as I'm looking around, a bottle catches my eye. This cute little pretty blue bottle. And blue is one of my favorite hues. So absolutely love the bottle. And then I paid a little bit closer attention and it said, Candies, which happens to be my baby sister's name, Candy, rest in peace, sis. Um, so, of course, I grabbed it for $12.99. $12.99, gotta have it. Also, just happens to be my scent of the day. And I'm going to tell you the honest truth. I got several, uns I worked a short shift today because I was a little bit sick. I didn't know if I was gonna make it, but I made it. So, I called him and was like, You still need me? I'll come in. So, it was like, Of course, come in. Anyway. Um, this fragrance got me three unsolicited comments in two and a half hours from 8.30 till 11 o'clock. I got three unsolicited compliments from Liz Claiborne's Candy. So this is the new full bottle that I added to my collection and I'm going to give myself a spray of it. Great itemizer. Is that a magnetic cap? No. It does snap in the flow. Oh, it smells good. <sighs> now, again, as I sniff my arm up in these nostrils, I'm going to tell you, it's not the reinvention of the wheel. So this is not, this is not a, a walk down memory lane or something like that. It's, that's not what this is. This, this is, you know, it's not. It's just not. But, what it is is a fragrance if you're lucky you get it like i did for 12.99 what it is is a sweet fragrance that doesn't go pew, sweet it kind of stays like this is sweet it kind of maybe right here it just kind of stays right here in the sweet one it doesn't go ridiculously sweet but at the same time it's masculine hmm? masculine with that hint of cleanliness which really turns me on love a fragrance that has that, that clean note because I ain't never in, in 46 almost 47 seven is a number in Alabama to come out to six and before eight so um I've never heard anybody say he smells too clean you know what I mean you just don't hear it so if you if you think sweet and you think masculine and you think clean that's what you have here with this in my opinion for the 12.99 that I got this for I am happy, 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 happy. I like it. I mean, I, I really do. And again, I'm talking about I walked into work and the young lady I was relieving, the first thing she said was, hey, you smell good. Checking out a, a customer. And I asked him, I said, man, because I, I, I be wanting to know if I smell something, what are you wearing? I said, hey, bro, what you got on? He said, uh, because you know, people never know what they're in. We want to tell, but I don't think they realize what they be talking to. I didn't just about sniffed it out. 
He said, Dolce. I said, it's light blue. He said, yeah. And you I, you were catching just little subtle subtle whiffs of it. It wasn't too strong, wasn't very overpowering, but it did smell good. But you could tell it was a newer version, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but it did work for him. It did smell good. Um, and then a, a, another lady came through my line and was like, man, somebody's up in here smelling good. And of course, you know, who else could it be but Treyway? I mean, with nobody else standing there, you know what I mean? It was me and Candy, a little cameo on. But I do think this is definitely worth picking up, even if you have to pay the full price for it, which I think is like between $20 and $25, get it. And if you don't like it, it makes a good gift, or if you have a younger nephew or a son. I mean, if I had a 12 to 30 year old son, I would be glad to give this to him and put it in his collection, be like, yes, son. Now, it's not a monster performer. It's not a monster projector, but we don't all need monster performers and not a monster projector. I think it's a three season fragrance. I think you can wear this spring, summer, into the fall or vice versa. I wouldn't necessarily wear it in the winter, but you could, especially if it was a pretty day because if you live in the Southeast, the weather pattern changes on you pretty much constantly. Yeah. Summer breaks out in the middle of December and that's just how it is. So you always have days where you can wear your spring and summer fragrances in the middle of the winter if you live in the Southeast. But I definitely think this is one I would wear. It almost acts like it wants to go sort of like Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce, but then it just doesn't and it comes like sweet. Uh, it does not smell like this one, which I brag on all the time, which is um, Authentic Night, which is a beautiful cheapie. If you, oh my goodness, if y'all ain't picked that up yet, what you waiting on? But nonetheless, nothing else to say about it, except for it's very inexpensive, pick it up. Um, it smells good, pick it up. You can wear this the rest of the spring, into the summer, and into the warmer part of the fall. And then slightly even into the cooler, day, night. Uh, I would definitely wear it on a date. Um, I would wear it to work because I, I just wore it to work, but I wear strong projections. I look, I walk up in there with brood on if it hits me. I'm just saying, I will. I'll straight go up in there with brood and, brood and old spice. If that's what, if, if the mood hits me, that's what I'm on. That's what I'm gonna put on. That's just me. They will adjust. They already know. They already know. Trey coming through. And when I come through, that's about it. That's, hey, that's just me. Anyway. This is a pickup. This is a pickup. And, you know, no matter what type of cologne you like, that's a pickup. I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, again, don't expect, you know, this monster fragrance. But I'm telling you, I get the strangest. I get compliments from the strangest fragrances. Fragrances that I feel like I'm going to spray on and everybody going to feel me and smell me and like. Nobody says a word. Nobody says a word. I can spray on Bob Man Body Spray and get 15 compliments. And I'm just like, I don't I wouldn't even try, you know, so. But nonetheless, with that being said, Candies is a pickup. One million elixir. If you're gonna get it, I say wait till it cools off a little bit. It's not something that you, if you got it now, it's not something that you would even wear. It is a nice dressy fragrance, but if you have Privé, Lucky, or perfume, I think you're, I personally think you're good. If you want the same vibe, layer yourself with all three and butter bing, butter boom, same thing. Um, and what was the other one? Invictus Legend. It's a good smelling scent, it is. If you can get it at the right price, I think I would add it. Um, I think, you know, I think you should get it. I'm not sure if I'll add it, simply because, uh, again, I have several fragrances. Now, as it said on my skin a little bit, that mint has gone away. But still, it, it, it has a very familiar, familiar scent. So I don't, it's nothing unique about it. So, purchase it at your own risk. If you get a good deal on it, if you see it in the bargain bin somewhere, somebody then got mad at work and, at Burlington and marked everything, $19.99, pick up three or four of them you know at that price but be vigilant of your prices is all i'm gonna say and be careful with it anyway with that being said i am fixing to get off of here thumbnail it edit it get it up so you guys can see it man we are so close to 2400 subs it's not even funny 
and what comes after 2400, 2500. I'm excited about that milestone. Very excited. Anyway, I gotta jump off, gotta go. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Thank you all for returning to the scene of the crime. You guys mean so much to me. You know, y'all, y'all sub so beautifully, don't you agree? Anyway, I've always wanted to say that. They play so beautifully, don't you agree? I've always wanted to say that. But anyway, give yourself a round of applause. Your boy is out. I love you all. God bless you all. Till next time.